Oh, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with 
He is your might in the Tinder Kio at your service. And welcome back to Owl Boy for the third time. And well, the last time uh, things kind of went to hell because, uh, yeah, the capital got kind of, well, destroyed. And yeah, we got to meet Maulstrom, the pirate captain. And well, he has two of the uh, three, uh, two of the three MacGuffins that he needs to well become <laughs> the eternal ruler or just whatever he wants. Uh, uh, can he? And well, we're kind of trying to get to it before uh, he can. Uh, uh, and to, however, to do that, we first need to get through this place, well, which is... Oh, in, right. uh, I forgot, we, we were, we got stuck on this. Yeah, a very annoying little fight here, where we have these jackasses down below throwing nests, which spawn more of these wasps, and then we're also trying to deal with the wasps that are coming from the nest on top. So yeah. Oh, the boot down there. Okay. Here we go again. But yeah, with just one relic, or just on his own power, perhaps even, Molstrom managed to destroy the entire capital. And well, we kind of don't want to know what happens if he gets all three. And this is just too freaking many of these. Come on. Uh, uh, nope. There. <laughs> Let's see if we can take these down with a shotgun blast or something. Uh, yeah, it doesn't help that my view of the game is rather uh, not limited, but I have a much smaller window to look at. Though I, I did say about the possibility of trying to. Uh, Move the game to the side, front to the side, and move OBS to the front, so I can have a better view. Yep. Okay, they they tell a lot with their attack, but there's just so freaking many of them. Actually, let me let me try this. Uh, move this over here. Okay, it's probably going to go widescreen on Discord because of this. Bye. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, I do see OBS still. Oh, there we go. Uh, there okay, we go. It's sort of flashing a bit there. Yeah, no, it's still. Okay, moving OBS to the. No, not OBS, but Discord to the sides. Okay, now, wait. Is it the fact that it's on the same monitor or something that. Oh, okay, that seems to be it, possibly. Let me make this bigger on my end. Let's see, almost screen filling. Uh, that, is, that is messed with it in a different way. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it still doesn't like it when it overlaps with other programs, it seems. Okay. Nope. Okay, it worked for a bits why still okay let me small there we go okay when it's literally not touching any other uh, screen then it does work so if i do this yeah it messes up again okay i move the game to the other side is it showing you is it showing correctly now i can see the game i can hear the game i can see you okay then this isn't too much bigger, but it's somewhat bigger. Okay. I, yep, that, it doesn't help too much that <laughs> it doesn't matter help that much that we take a lot of damage from each of these. Uh, yep. Okay, let me test. Uh, wait, how how did they lose their armor? How? Okay. I didn't notice them losing their armor. Okay. 
I think First I missed off, that. we do that. I think I and... missed that when I was to go grab my sandwich. Okay. Let's see. No, why? That is one of those spiders is back again there. Okay. Do you lose your armor for some specific reason or something? Did I lose it due to a fruit level on them? I find it a bit doubtful. Actually, yes, that is the case. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the nest gone, at least. Okay, uh, somewhere the other one got killed as well. No, they almost... Uh, oh, I think I see what's going on. Oh? We were supposed to use the fruit. Okay, could have used a bit more explanation about that. Oh well. I barely noticed them that to begin with. Let's... So wait, if I if I put them down here, grab this. Oh no, it it just automatically eats that, no matter what. Okay, then we'll have to flee. Okay. Yeah, if that if the rock if if dropping uh, fruit on those things, his head was yeah was shown somewhere that I completely missed it. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, I see what we need to do. Uh, other than not take that to the face. Okay. And there we go. So, is there anything hidden? No, there's nothing hidden. Okay, then. More of these. Hello. Sleepy owl. Okay. There. Come on, crap. Okay, it's a timed bit. So there and there. Okay, I thought for a moment we if we could move it would stop wherever we would have it moved last. No, we need to move it in one go. And apparently that wasn't fast enough. Okay. Or maybe... wait. Come on, grab it, Otis. Okay. There we go. Okay, that was a bit annoying. Um, okay, that activated that thing. Uh, okay. And <laughs> Giddy just falls through the floor. Okay, bones again. Are we going to end up? Okay, that's not good. That's not a good show. 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yeah, up here, come on, come on, there we go. Oh, oh, we just, we just start losing health immediately outside of the light, it seems. Okay, yeah. Up, up, up. Okay, you can be of assistance. Uh... Up, oh, there we go. Actually, if you wait for us a sec there, there we go. Get some more direct. <laughs> there we go. Get some more direct uh, light Whoa, source. Whoa. I thought you were to die there accidentally. Yeah, if we stay out for a little bit, it is going to kill us. That was enough of it. <laughs> Just throwing it up to eat was enough to get us killed. Okay. Gosh darn it. Here we go again. Don't know what these things might be called, but I don't think I want to know either. Probably something like Hell Hornets or something. There we go. Okay, luckily enough that we can teleport our companions along, otherwise they would be in quite a pickle with this, huh? Yeah! Get you down there, Alphonse. There. Okay, that should keep him off us. And bring it back up along. Okay. This way. Okay, where to? Not that way. Uh, where's. There's the passage. Okay. Uh, really? Oh, wait, this is. There. Isn't this... This is very similar to an earlier bit. Maybe even the same? Only now there's, well, all of this. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I've not been to face these things before, yes. Okay, now this is longer. This is a different place. E... Okay, perfect time for this thing to wear out there, huh? Ooh. Okay, we have been here because that chest is open. Okay. Um, and the second one. Uh, th this is known area. It's just that everything's gone dark now. And, well, the Hornet things. Okay, where I do we need to go? I don't know why light boots here to begin with. Yeah. And all of the, uh... <laughs> all of the torches. Okay, these things again, so we should be relatively safe. Oh, okay. Can I just move you? Yes, I can just move you. No need for lights. There we go. Okay. Right away. And all of the bugs are gone. Okay. Okay, those things are active now. 
Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Question is, how do we get back there again? Because we've had a bit of a mad scramble about the place, so I don't know where we are. Okay, that's all known territory. Maybe to the right of the thing? Hmm. Uh, let's have a look. So, I, I'm pretty sure when I originally played this, I got stuck for quite a time in some of this area because I just got plain lost. Yeah, I don't blame you. I was trying to reposition my hands so that I could be able to roll as well as shoot, but the fact that I need my thumb on the control stick to aim the firing doesn't really uh, help with that. And we're back here. So this way it is then. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And I hope we don't have to go too far. Actually, do we even need to go that direction in the first place? Let me see. Good question. Down here, maybe? And we don't really have a map, so it's a bit hard to say if we're going the right way or not. Oh, yeah. Don't hate me to go down. Okay, and if my mental map is correct, then there's a, a lamp bat above us. Lamp bat? Well, it is what they are, sort of, aren't they? Okay, there's no need for that, since there's well... Bird. Okay, fly. Fly, you fool. <laughs> Getting just teleports out of the way. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we were told that this place was half covered with lava and all that, so we shouldn't be too surprised that we ran into it. Okay. Did we... Oh. Did we skip um, something or something? Alphonse? <laughs> so... Thought you could wheezy yourself back in with the pirates, huh? You've even brought friends. And now old no ness. Funny how quickly you can change sides. Let's see how well you can fly. After I've cut his wings off. Hey! You're not ruffling a single feather on Otis, or... Or... Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> not very convincing, Giddy. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's Sir Greens a lot. You! It's your fault. All of Advent. All of this. <laughs> Maybe you should have stayed at your post in Valley. Right, Dirk? Shut up, Twig. You're as much of a loser as they are. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry, Goggles. I'm not going to hurt you. Not when I have something I want to do that for me. Uh... Hello there? Huh? Wait. Whoops. Looks like you woke it up. Dirk, what are you doing? It's been fun, Twig, but we don't need you anymore. What? No! And now he's stuck in here with us. 
And whatever that thing is. Oh, great. Zzz. Food sequence initiated. Directive, protect the hex machine. Destroy all interloping agents. Uh-oh. Well, now... Ah. I got bit that. Damn it. It's a mechanical blobber? I wonder how many people remember that uh, movie. Nope. Nope. Uh, you mean the green goo thing or something? Yeah, the bombs are around everywhere with the. Uh, many rest in peace, Robin Williams. I've, I've forgotten the name of the thing. But sort of like that, yeah, and quite hostile. Ow. Okay, it's, it's a bit hard to keep track of everything. Roll. Okay, then it does this. Which limits how high or low we can go. And then they do that. Okay. And that's completely missed. Oh. We're damaging it. Somewhat. Oh, wait. But we knocked the thing off. Okay. Okay. It's going to jump. But the other way. Okay. Here we go again. Let's... Um. Okay, it always jumps to the right, it seems. Yep. Roll into that. Okay, yeah, this thing is not nice. Yeah. Okay. Skip. Okay, here we go with Globby again. Okay, this. Somehow didn't get hit there. Okay, move this way. Good little spot that to take us a, a blunderbuss shot. It wants its hat back. Okay. Almost ready to him. Are we supposed to shoot it when it's off or shoot him when it's off? Uh, I think we just need to keep shooting it then. Okay, I tried to pick it up, but it broke. I think that's what you were supposed to do then. Or I did, or it just took enough damage. Okay. okay, now it's just plain vulnerable. Miss. Now. Okay, the roll doesn't really give much invincibility. It, it seems to mostly give oh, distance. Yeah, but, but I I thought that I thought it was done for. Nope. 
<laughs> okay, he didn't like that. Yep. Ow. Okay, it swings. Then it tries to grab, and well, what you get when you play with uh, <laughs> the power socket. Okay. You, don't move or I'll shoot. Hey! And... Great. Oh man, you got away. Why does this keep happening? Hmm. That spider person. He does not seem particularly malicious. If I were to guess, I'd say he doesn't know what trouble he's in. Dirk, however, my former comrade, he trapped us in here with that thing. The next time we meet him, I fear we might have to... Yeah, no matter. Let's find a way out of here. Okay. Uh, is this anything? Yep. Also, the heck is that in the background? Two monitors and something? More than yeah, lava? <laughs> and Otis just laid another egg. <laughs> Whoa! Otis, did you just get teleported? I guess now we all know how it feels. <laughs> My lungs are in the wrong position. <laughs> Although we lost track of Dirk. At this rate, he can get uh, you'll get to the final the final relic before we can. Maybe not, Master Getty. The door is in this floating. Uh, the door is in the floating city. Yeah. In the floating continent, act as a defense gates. He'll surely be trapped in there until we can figure out a way to open them. Reactivating this teleporter would surely bring us back to that room. If memory serves, there should be a way to reactivate it around here. All right. Still, let's hurry and try and find a way back before Dirk reaches the relic. Okay, where the heck did we end up? Okay, back outside. Uh, hello. Hmm? What have we here? Okay. Yep, Buccaneery shop. Okay, now there's one over there. Hmm. Is this some sort of ancient shutdown system or something? Hmm. Yep. Those things. Anyway, do we have enough coins to get anything new here? Let's Okay, just an update on what we've got and such. Let's see, anything new? Welcome! Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 1258 Buccaneary coins. Well, well, well. You're become, you've, be, you've become... You're becoming quite the adventurer, Spelling. I think you're worthy of this next surprise. For high-flying adventurers only. Behold. Hooray. <laughs> I have a hat. I can see that. Will you please bring it to the nice owl person? 
but no bots. <laughs> it's yours, sir. <laughs> and now we've got Alphonse's hat. I'll just you know, toss out that ugly green hat then. If we'd lost it long ago. Oh my, it's such a hoot style. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little big. But it does make you look pretty awesome. I miss it already. That's great. Back to your shack for now. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so that was Alphonse's hat. Gallant hats. For the most gallant. So stylish. Okay. Uh, so hoot? Yeah. The pond there. Okay. Next up. Let's tell you up. Yep. Well, look at you, Mr. Adventurer. Bring in buccanary coins from high and low. I bet you're pretty famous by now, eh? Well, have I got something for you. Here, have this. Oh, I only now noticed that he was behind the counter. Okay, yeah, little one. <laughs> like we've rehearsed a billion times now. Just... <laughs> I swear, that Critton will be the life of me one day. Just... on it, ma'am. For you, sir. It's my very last brew. <laughs> You'll miss that taste, yeah? You're a real owl man now, I reckon. <laughs> okay, then next up we have the scope for... I'm guessing that's going to extend Getty's attack range. Then an unknown here. Fire drive, attachable musket units for maximum fire. And the Spectre Cloak. No clue what that might do. And it also doesn't say how much coins we need to get for that thing. Wait a question. I think I know. At least I guess. All of them? Yeah. Probably. Or do you need something special for them? Uh, let's see. We don't have a campsite here, so I guess we'll just keep on. And that other switch was somewhere around here. Uh, okay, um, they really don't like us flying around here. It's my nose, and oh, hello there. Nice Doritos. Makes the nose runny. Oh, hello. I guess it's time to try to turn a new leaf and plan ahead. Can't grieve forever. Bonanza is away gathering supplies for us. I have to keep myself fed and try to figure out what to do next. One step at a time. Okay. Alright. At least I have a mindset. Like, it's okay to mourn. But don't let that mourning consume you. Yeah. Or else there'd be nothing else to you. Yeah, and the rumor, the people you may have lost want you to live happily. You I would have wanted by then. Okay, yeah. another one. Okay, that act that reactivates the teleporter. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there is a. Okay. Let's have a sit and a rest. It would be nice to rest a bit. But we need to keep up with Dirk. If he gets the last relic, we'll be in trouble. Indeed, Getty. Let us rest up at another time. Okay. That's kind of good. Yeah, probably also means that there's not really anything new to discuss. Yoink. Mula. <laughs> okay. Money, 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 money. Captain Otis on the way. Money, money, money. So funny in a pirate's world. <laughs> yes, I intentionally butcher that. So you admit you were a parrot? <laughs> uh, I want to introduce you to my latest invention, Helian. Mm -hmm. I call it Rockus Bunkers. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. 
And Otis again looking like he saw the inside of Cthulhu. <laughs> okay, guys, it need it, it seems there's uh, more to this plan that more to this place than that blob monster thing. There's no telling what we'll encounter ahead. Not to worry, Master Getty. We have some great progress. We, we've had some. Isn't that right, Master Otis? I can see tastes. <laughs> I think he's in teleporter coma. <laughs> hey, buddy, it's going to be okay, man. Your spleen might never recover, but you may. I'm always going to be there for you, no matter what. <laughs> now, let's go. This place is nothing for the likes of us. Okay, here we go. Let's see how e how quickly we can lose the hats. Oh, uh, there you are, you bastard. That? You again? I don't know how you got past the defense system, but there's no way you're getting this relic before me. Lava? Then why did he abandon it? Yeah, because it's stuck completely. Okay. Hmm. I would thought he would start fighting us, but... Yeah, I think he'd prefer to have more solid ground underneath for that than lava. Oh, hello? Oh my, I recognize this language. It's written by an agent owl. Let me read it for you. Clearing out this continent has taken a while, but we can finally begin our work. The work from the abandoned temple has paid off, and we have been able to make the local wildlife part of the th Theorem Solver. The Theorem? Whatever. We'll augment them and make them ex excavate with the automatons. I estimate that within a few decades of excavation, we can begin construction. Okay, they were long-term planners. Oh. Hello. I can't tell if that's actually damaging them or not. That certainly does. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Dude, let's not fall into them. Oh. We can just knock them off. Okay. Okay. Oop. And gone. Wing Okay. There. Okay, those, those smash real quick. Oh, new things again. Yeah, la Lavo Magma Hounds. There we go. Leap. What are they called? Volcano yep. Hounds. Oh god. There we go. Wait, Dragon Ball is there? Why Dragon Ball is there? Let's have a look. Okay, maybe they was where it could be you could have been used to crush the hounds. Yeah, we, we call them hound for now, but we all sure what they are. Do they look almost reptilian? Lizard doggo. Dog son? There's no real need to fight them, except for possible secret spawns. Hmm. 
I just realized we need our phones and cannon to destroy them God damn and it. water. Yeah, or, yeah, or, eh? or yeah. There we go. And nothing spawned, so that was just damage taken for nothing. Okay. Yes, it makes sense for you. We'll probably need some durable skin to be able to live in areas like this. Definitely, yeah. This means a feeble pistol will not do anything besides pissing it off. Yep. And that's into the lava. <laughs> oh, and that's oh. one owl boy. Uh, Thoroughly cooked. For Chris. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Basically got body slammed by some automatic defense uh, shield. Some of these track us, but others don't. There we go. Ooh. Hello. There has been some infighting, and some of the main architects have left the project. They have been banished from the continent, and work continues. The Light Cradle is operational, and we have all the power that we need. Construction of he the Hex Machine itself has been delayed due to the immense complexity of the structure. I hope I will see construction begin in my lifetime. Okay, we go from one game with uh, a big project to another. Ah, we need to spin in the right direction. Um. If that's supposed to be an elevator, I, can, I, I will hate for anyone to use it. To just uh, get so damn dizzy. Yeah. Okay, that's opened that up and activated one of those things. We'll have to unlock both of them to get the relic out, I'm guessing. Let's just hope that it's not another defense mechanism. And just immediately shoot it with a musket. Yep. Yep. Okay. Big monkey. Oh. Hey? Yeah, that's not what it's. Those are not the tails. Are... Are those are. Those are something else. But there are some kind of aid to them, I guess. For I'm pretty sure tail should not be on your back. As in on your spine. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Whatever needs to be done there, we can't do it at the moment. Yep, that. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Nope, oh, another one. The hex machine is beginning to take shape. I'm not sure anyone fully understands the design anymore, but the initial tests have proven to have been successful. The light cradle is over capacity, and we are drawing power from the continent itself. We will fire up the hex machine within a few years, when the relics are charged. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Okay, so yeah, they did not live to see it. What the heck is the hex machine? It's a machine! The question is, 
Yeah, what like is this. he supposed to do? Yep, yep. Motherfucking monkey. There we go. Yeah, Alphonse's blunderbuss is very powerful, but it's extremely short-ranged. Nope. Okay. Well, we now know what we... No time to monkey around. We need to get two screws to that thing. I always knew you had a screw loose. Wrong way. Wait. Okay, I thought I, s I thought I saw one of the bushes there break. I guess not. There. <laughs> Who needs a screwdriver when you can drive them in yourself? as I was about to <laughs> unleash the bonder buzz on it. There. No. No. There we go, get rid of you. Yep. And the monkey went for a swim. He tried to jump over to the wall, but uh, got onto it at the wrong time. <laughs> Yep. Yep. There we go. Okay. Step aside, Alphonse. Hmm. Hmm. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Well, that ended well. It goes on like that for a while. Oh, whatever the hex machine was supposed to do, uh, doesn't look like it did it. Hmm. Or maybe they never got to finish it. Either way, that's two of two ready. I'm just gonna hope that thing doesn't come alive like the blob thing. Oh, hello. Okay. Nom. Okay, Hello. Uh, shortcuts, okay. Okay, and that... How curious. These displays are showing some schematics, along with a log. It says... The hex is complete. The world is destroyed. Looping. Okay. The world is destroyed? What does that mean? Hmm. The hex is complete, the world is destroyed, looping. No, the world is definitely still out there. I wonder what the elves were doing in here. It sounds like the, word of, like the work of madness. I don't want to stay in this place any longer than we have to. Let's just get this relic before Dirk does and get out of here. Okay. And what's... Uh, hello? Uh, oh, great. Wait. Oh, those are not tanks. Those are extra arms. Yeah. That... Stupid... Stupid monkey. Is he... What was... Okay. 
It goes by real fast, but I'm pretty sure he just tried to throw a knife in its eye. Look at banana. Yeah, a knife probably would have done a bit more damage. Well, guess it's monkey soup is on the menu. Hot monkey soup. Yep. 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 Let's not get in ourselves. Nope. Oh, there's a little platform on the side. Okay. I realize they're almost out of monkeys up there. Damn it. Okay. Now we 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 get health extensions, but they still do quite a bit of damage. Now what is it? Yes. I really can't tell what he's frozen because it lasts like a few frames. <laughs> oh, hello there, Foofy. Uh, I awake, hello. dead. <laughs> okay. Uh. Hello, Foofy. Uh, what have you been up to? Doing well, I hope. We're just, uh, well, you could say monkeying around. As they try to drop <laughs> power drivers into the lava. Only got one. Okay. There you go. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Bounced off into the lava. Okay, two more rounds. Go. And then the Okay, one more, then what more? Okay, we got a bunch of them there. Up and okay, that that was mostly luck. Oh, and Big Ape is out of uh, pawns. Well, uh, let's see. Yes, I'm finally able to watch due to the campground being mostly empty. Lol, I can try most days and have zero luck with the bad Wi-Fi here. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of baked monkeys. Okay, for a second I thought some sort of trap popped up. Yes, same. Okay. We're about to hit the next... About to hit the next monkey. Oh, and he ran off. Okay. There we go. Okay, we are we've hit fifteen hundred. Okay, is there anything else around here? Oop. More monkey stew. Okay. I'm going to guess that there's not much more here. Probably more coins hidden and such. But we're here for story, not for 100%. Okay. Going to drop you off here. Still can't pull this thing out. So, I guess this will unlock it. it... Or overpressurize the entire place. 
Yep. Whoops, so much for the relic. Yeah, I think you were supposed to grab it there. Too bad. Or it's not the actual relic. It's going to be a lot more monkey steel. Yeah. That got close. <laughs> Otis, are you all right? Uh, we need to find a way out of here. I think we're in over our heads. Let's look for an exit, Otis. Yeah, we're in over our heads by a few thousand degrees Celsius. Is the ground shaking? Let's get out of here before it's too late. Oh, man. Uh, okay, that's that's good. Good. Hello. Oh, that's why he was afraid. Okay, some sort of uh, a lava worm machine thing. A fire serpent. Ah. Well, oh, it's lighting the fi floor on fire. Uh, and it has a flamethrower. Yeah, that's uh, what I was uh, thinking about right, right, right away. That's why it's only a fire serpent. A fire worm? Worm? Okay, let's see. Mook it did. Yes. No. No. Get me out of the fire. I need to the frying pan. Oh, wait. Okay, we... It's top half is armor. Uh... So we need to hit it on the side. Uh... There's no really a hiding underneath it. Not sure if that hit or not. Um, what is that? Uh, oh, oh, what? What is that on top of it? Uh, okay, dead. Is that thing controlling the damn thing? Maybe. Okay, we just need to hit its head. Nothing else matters to hit it on. Miss. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, even if we get close to getting hit by it fondly afterwards. Miss. Okay, I think we've dealt more damage to it so far than the uh, last we got. St Bastard thing still hits hard though. Did he just repair its own armor? Okay, we can only take a few more hits. I don't know 
is supposed to be a slug or a fox? Yeah, if you... Ew, I almost got hits. Almost. Okay. I've got its patterns down decently well. If it's from the bottom, if it's from the ceiling or the floor, it's going to uh, it's going around in an arc. Uh, there we go. But if it comes from the high wall, it's going to circle back and forth. Okay. Otis taking this ball by the handle. Uh, I've got no control. Uh, uh, okay, we can go up and down. Okay. Now. What in the name of all? Yep. Good. Yeah, let's not dive into that. Uh, okay, we know which way is down about now. Can the camera settle down to that? Ow. Apparently, no. Okay. Yeah. Need to not hit the ceiling or the, the... I wonder if you need to do a flashing light warning on this one. Oh, oh, grab on, man. Sound? <laughs> no, I didn't think it was. I... <laughs> We've certainly parked it, though. I think he's gone. We should probably go check it out. <laughs> okay, just... Okay, there it is. Yeah, I think it's pretty deactivated. Or right, let's hope it is. Hey, wait up! That was a close call, huh, guys? <laughs> but we did it. We're a great team. Someone's trying to smooze in. Team. You helped the pirates attack Valley. You were still on their side during the attack on Advent. You tried to get us killed in the floating continent. Do you think you're on our team? I'm... sorry. I... I didn't realize what the pirates were up to. I just wanted someone to hang out with. We don't want your company. Oop. Otis doesn't like this. We don't want anything to do with you. Oop. Loud piano? Isn't that right, guys? Guys? Alas. I am hardly one to berate anyone for following pirates. I cooperated with them in the attack on Valley together with Dirk. And I am a pirate myself. Are you serious? That's not the same at all. Otis? Suit yourselves, but I don't have to put up with this. I'm... I'm going back to Valley. Is he gone? A man, mean to mean to cause any trouble. I think I'll go home now. 
And then there were two. Hmm. Well. Don't worry, Master Otis. Kitty will come around. Meanwhile, let's try and find a way out of here. Okay, yep. Well, that was quick. Oh, um... Hi. Do you think you could, like, help me a bit over here? I can't get past this ice here. There we go. Thanks. Okay, uh, uh, come on. High winds. Hey, you need some help over there? Listen, if you help me get back home, I'll help you, know, you get out of here. I'll let you pick me up, but be careful not to tear my get up, will ya? So we get uh, our third companion, though. That's we're sort of spoiled by anyone paying attention on the continue screen. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I probably should have deleted that save beforehand, but oh well. Okay. It's a minor spoiler. Nope. But I don't know if there will be more uh, companions or not. Yeah. Oh, come on. At least this doesn't deal damage. Okay. And, yeah, we attack by webbing up enemies and then throwing them at each other. Okay. Okay, this is getting a bit much. Okay, he, he, he does a little snicker when we switch to him. All right, I think I can make my way home from here. Thanks for the ride, fellas. Where the heck are we? Anything this way? Not Scandinavia. Here we go. I quite the like this. Like a... Go ahead. I was saying, what does this sound like a machine gun? <laughs> because it's built. Oh, we can't go higher than that. Okay. But I, I like that you have to press down on the chest and then jump up to get them to open. But I think I've said that before. I think so. Yeah, it, it it's a small little difference, but it's just a. a it is a uh, makes it a little bit more than just click to open and such. Uh, yeah, going to leave those to chill out. Plus, there's just something a bit satisfying about jumping on a chest and then jumping up to get it open. Heck, oh, those are those flying things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom. Okay, not that way. Hmm. Oh, yeah, hello. Oh, hello, Twig. Shh. It's my family. They're in trouble. Our inspection is over for today. Don't try anything stupid if you value your lives. We won't cause any trouble. Good. As long as you don't cause trouble, the occupation will be over before you know it. 
I'll be back tomorrow. Yep. That scum destroyed all of our furniture. At least they didn't find the wine cellar. Let's just get back inside before they come back. It's too cold out here for my old bones. Oh man, I didn't think the pirates would cause trouble for my family. <sighs> I'd better go check on them. Yeah, sadly that's a problem with a lot of people. They don't care about something that is affecting others until it bites them in the ass. Hmm. Why are there pirates around here? We should investigate this area, but... I do not like this, Otis. If we proceed, we need to be very, very careful. I shall stay out of sight. I shall stay out of sight for now. Okay. Well, he did say earlier he was unaware they were planning to attack our advent. Hi, Pa. Hi, bro. I'm home. Ah, Twig? Is that you over there? So it is. And you brought home a friend. Oh, still hanging out with pirate friends then? Twig hasn't brought a pirate into the house now. This is Otis. He's an owl. From Valley. I wanted to check to see if you are... You're still pretending to be a spider, are you? You see, Otis from Valley. Twiggy has always been a weirdo. Dressing up as a spider because it's cooler than being a stick bug. Oh, so that's what you are. It is cooler. Enough, Twig. Get out of that costume and let's talk. Pa, please. Not in front of my friend. Let's do it, Twig. That's <sighs> why he's called Twig. Yeah. Yep, there we go. There, happy now? Great. We just want to ask a few questions without you looking like an idiot. So, are you home to stay this time? Or are you still in league with those insistent pirates? Pirates ditched me. They were just using me. And this guest here? Is he a delinquent like you? Oh, this is a good guy, bro. He just wants to find his way back home. Hmm. Well then, make yourself at home, Otis. I apologize for the rude welcome. You can never be too careful these days. Welcome to the Stick family's home. Okay, that makes sense for... They don't really look spy-like, especially not the brother. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, they were right. I'm a stick bug just like them. So boring. Uh, I wish Twig would just quit the spider act and stay home like a normal stick bug. How did you end up with Twig anyway? Twig's always been a troublemaker, driving everyone nuts with worry. Don't tell Twig I said that. The truth hurts the sensitive. And Foofy has to bail. See you next time then. And be well. Oh, you can't yeah. speak at all? Foofy. I guess that takes care of the problem. What are you whispering about over there? I hope Twig hasn't caused too much trouble for you. Twig's always been a special case. But I'm glad some good friends turned up. Maybe you can recommend that Twig stay in Messos and leave you alone? I can hear you. Okay. Hey, wait up. I'll come with you. Just let me put my threads back on. Okay. Well, that was fun. I wonder if my family was happy to see me at all. Surely they must have been somewhat worried. Especially when there seems to be pirates about. I doubt it. Every time I come home, they go on about what a freak I am. Would you like... Mind if I hang out with you guys for a while? Well, until you find a way out of here? As it stands, Getty has yet to return, and we could certainly use your unique abilities. 
What do you say, Otis? Otis says, smile. Really? Well, let me join. <laughs> Thank you. I'll help you in any way I can. Like, he might not be a spider, but he's good enough to, emu uh, to emulate one. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> Getty is even gone from this here. <laughs> Twig. A prankster and a troublemaker who likes to dress up as a spider. Twig shoots web pellets that can slow down or tangle enemies. Twig can also grapple to walls or objects. Okay. Yeah. As nice as this place looked, the uh, gyrocopters kind of ruined the vibe. Make beautiful too. Would concern be the right word here? Yeah, like there's or a fuck ton of them. For is foreboding I'm looking for? Foreboding? That could work. Or ominous? Yeah, all, the, all the words that basically mean that things feel like they're going to go bad at any moment. Yeah. It reminds me. Hmm? They still haven't captured the Hillion's flying boots. Okay. Here we go. 1625. So we could go grab that scope. Not that it'll do much good without Getty. So we better Getty out of here first. See, and Twig might not might not be an actual spider, but whatever he's using for webbing is actually working as well. Okay, just no flying here. I think that makes sense. When, when you look at him properly, you notice he's looking a weird for spider. Yeah. Oh dear. So the pirates have set up their base here. Pirate base? It's like right next door to my family's house. Indeed, this doesn't bode well. Perhaps Dirk acquired the final relic before the dungeon flooded? I'm pretty sure we saw that thing vanish into the lava. So unless he's fireproof, yeah. It looks like there's no way in. And even if there was, we'd be discovered immediately. We have to warn your family, Twig. If the pirate base is here, the occupation will only get worse. I can't believe it was sucking into working for these guys. No wonder my dad was suspicious of me. Let's go warn him. Yeah, let's make haste on that. Explains what they are doing when well, inspections. Yeah. There. There. Okay, that, that gives us a moment of immunity towards the knockback and such. Okay. Bro, pa, huh, the pirates. They've made their base here in missiles. Yes, we know that twig. It's worrisome, but we, ju uh, but we just have to accept it. But you have to evacuate. No, Twig. This is our home. We won't evacuate just because there are some pirates nearby. Please, you don't understand. No. We cannot let fear dictate our actions. It seems I have to make you understand. Let me show you up close how an adult stares death in the eye. Uh, in the coming century. Just give me a second here. Or a few hours. Pirates, huh? I'll give you pirates. Oh. There you are, Twig. Uh, now, if you see a pirate, just... Uh, pirate! 
Oh, what's that? Speak up, son. Big pirate! <laughs> Does he cover? <laughs> he could see a treachery, blimey, crud. We were not heard of. The link with evil doer must rather the inconceivable tre <laughs> No, no. We just want to talk. That... Are you the pirate leader? Um... Yes. What the... <laughs> Yes. Trig, yes. <clears throat> and I have come bearing news of our operation here in Messus. We are... We are planning to... Uh, we are planning to build our sprawling citadel right here. Messus will be the epicenter of our new rule. Rich in wealth and all the all manner of luxury. And we need Twig for... Um, for... Um, Cooking? <laughs> Cooking? <laughs> Twig? There's no need to play games. If you want to leave with these friends of yours, you are free to do so. We may not like it, but we'll support you. But don't forget that this is your home. And we will be here when you return. Is there anything we can help you with, Twig? We need to get into the pirate base. Alright. There's a passage hidden beneath, behind a waterfall in Tropos that might take you there. You might not remember what we sometimes used it as kids. I can take you to Strotter if you'd like. Thanks, bro. Sorry for trying to trick you guys. Don't worry. It would take more than a prank of yours to fool your old pa. Now be on your way. You have something important to do, don't you? You want to go to Tropa straight away? Yes, let's skip there. Alright, follow me. Nope. Okay, hidden passage underneath the fire. <laughs> underneath the firewood. And he got it after all. That's a problem. How? Here we are. You'll find your way to trope us from here. Remember, yep, yeah, remember. You will find a hidden entrance to the pirate base behind the waterfall in Tropos. By the way, Twig, do you by chance notice any tremors on your way up here? Or did you by chance notice any? Oh yeah, that was us. <laughs> Otis's friends woke up a giant snake monster. I had to come save him. What? Did anyone get hurt? Are you okay? <laughs> Don't worry, bro. We're pretty tough. Just trying not to get into trouble, okay? We're we're <laughs> infiltrating a pirate base. We are def definitely heading into trouble. You know, Pond I. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just be careful out there, will you? Come home from time to time. Take care in this passage as well. It's been long since I yeah, last used it. Might be monsters about. Don't get into more trouble, or I'll tell Pa. Alright. Let's have some fun. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Probably should eat a bit, since we're so low on health. There we go. That's one more over there. Ah, I see ya. Three. Okay. <laughs> okay, that wraps them up, and it looks like they can't actually get out of that. Okay. You whipped an actual spider. 
Now, I don't think it's an actual spider, but it's spider-like. Let's see. Strato? Do we need to go to Tropos? There we go. Okay. Hmm. Can we... Yep. Okay, that works. Okay. What is... Where are we exactly here? Up. Up. Uh -oh. There we go. Hello. Hello, treasure. Okay. 1669. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. We should probably stop by Bacchanary first to get the scope for when Getty probably returns. But who are we kidding? He will probably return. Help! Help! <laughs> Oh, hello. Please, anyone. Okay, it's another one of these. There we go. Whoa! You totally saved me. Thanks, buds. I thought those beasts were gonna stomp me. And kick me. And chew my eyeballs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't have legs to do the first two, or teeth for the last, <laughs> but they didn't. Thanks to you, guy. I was just making my merry, ma merry way back to Buccaneries. When those monsters jumped out and said, Hey, <laughs> we're gonna cut you. <laughs> I was like, Dah! <laughs> but then you guys came along. Yep. Say, I'm gonna rejoin my brothers outside Buccaneries. Come and visit us, why don't you? I'll see you there. And off they go. That was a very weird fella. Says the stick bug dressed up as a spider. <sighs> I, have I said it enough already that this game is just oozing with personality? Yeah, and I, I think I just realized something. Oh. Is Trick supposed to have a face? You know, little emo face, golf face, that people call it. He's had a, he's got a spider face. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look what's up here first. Oop. Okay, we're so high up that there's lower gravity. I mean, it kind of feels like they took that concept and, I'm... yeah, ran a move with it. <laughs> so I would not be surprised if the TV tropes said something else. Yeah. And probably flew over, over our heads. Oh, okay, this must be the waterfall that he was speaking, that Twig's brother was speaking of. Okay, there might have been something up above there, but I guess we missed it. No, wait, this is, this is Stratos, not Tropos. All right, fellas, we can get down to Tropos over there. So, your brother mentioned a waterfall in Tropos. To find the pirate base, we should look around down there. With Otis's wings and my webs, we'll find it in no time. So leave it to us, Slowpoke. <laughs> Alphonse maliciously loads Blunderbuzz.
Okay. I overlooked that thing. I was looking up. It... This evil big balls. Right. Propus. Okay. And then Buccaneries over here. Propus is not Whenever they, they say Tropus, Tropus, I think of Age of Mythology for some reason. Okay, I'm guessing you were thinking of one of the voice lines or something, but... Yeah, I think the Greeks have some words that sound similar to those words. Yeah, they I have a bunch of ending words. Should we rest a little before we move on, Master Otis? Let's. I kind of want he... those icons as gifts. Uh oh. <laughs> no, this is not too happy. Dropos. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. It feels a bit lonely to be here without Getty. Maybe we should hit the sack early, guys. I just feel guilty. It's not your fault, Twig. But the mood being what it is, sleeping might be best. We'll have a proper conversation at another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Buds! You're all here. Sure are. Let's have some fun. Ah. And what should we do? Oh. I know. Let's go to the cannon. Yes. <laughs> Let's roll. Oof. Hey. Wait up, guy. Okay, what are those numbskulls up to now? Steve, what the heck they're supposed to be? <laughs> they're probably just a random amalgamation of other beings. Welcome. Let's sally up that booty. We've collected 1,700 Buccaneary coins. Up. Stick them up. I've got a gun. Oh, you've got a gun, have you? I've also got a gun. Yep. A big gun. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Very good. I feel safe. Of course you do. Now back to your... I like it when they behave. <laughs> Collect seven for another surprise. It is 50 more. Okay. The scope gear attached to a gun increases the range of Getty's pistol. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing this one will be an upgrade or something for Twig then, because we have an upgrade for Alphonse, and just this thing at the end. Still no clue what it might do. Maybe sort of invisibility cloak? Anyways, we need to go find ourselves a waterfall around here. <laughs> now we will get it. Now we know that friendly fire is on for them. <laughs> okay. What's this? Another campsite? It's just a destroyed patch? Huh? There is a sad face there. Okay. Some, there's something sealed off there, and there's a lot of wind howling. Hmm. This is where the teleporter was, I think? Or, wait, was it the teleporter that we just... There, no, the teleporter is here. And what was that area, then? Hmm. Let's keep looking around for that waterfall. I'm guessing it's likely at the other end. This is to the Owl Temple. So that's a bit of a 
No. Because I don't remember there being a waterfall there. Then we get to the top. Okay. On the other side then. Oh, hold on a second. Waterfall, waterfall. I feel like we've seen a waterfall, but where was that? Would that mean the waterfall in the cave? Where we started mm. at? Up. Ah, here. Oh, this. There we go. Yeah, this is more of a noticeable it's a large waterfall. Yeah. Plus one we couldn't get past before. So now we're back in Menos. Mesos. Yeah, Mesos, good. Okay. Time for a bit of stealth work. Well, or this is actually... another game. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let me finish today. Yeah. Good. Ah! Dr. Bear! <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Okay, we can zip by fast enough for them to not actually notice us. Okay. Nice little uh, show, don't tell. Oops. Yep. Call in the blast, but okay. Oop. Late. Okay. Oh. It's... We recognize that ship. Yeah, it's the Dreadnought. Okay. Oop. We can just go right in. Okay. Probably a bad idea to go... Gesundheit or whatever that was. Yeah, my throat. <laughs> yeah, going into <laughs> going into the heart of your enemy's base and then going into their flagship. Hmm. Your ship appears to be in complete lockdown. A mechanic companion might have made short work of these doors. But since he is missing, we shall have to find another way. Hmm? Come now, my friends. Do not worry yourself. I'm sure Giddy is all right. I think that's bit, that. I think that was the first sound that Otis has made in the entire game, besides uh, "nom nom nom." That or he's getting himself eaten. Yep. Shut up, you. Certainly not. I have the utmost faith in our green comrades. He is probably back in Valley already, safe and sound. Meanwhile, leave this one to me, as I might be able to open his door. We shall have to find the opening mechanism. It should be around here somewhere. Or are we just go into the vents. Okay. Start your own Metal Gear Solid music here. And of course, there's life ordinance in here. Ah, here we are. If I find a lever in there, I can keep the door open for you. But I will need to stay here to keep it open. Voila! Okay. Go ahead, Otis. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, simple enough. Just dodge the bomb and get around. There we go. Uh, hello. Intruders? Prepare for annihilation. Hi there, friend. 
We're here to see my buddy Dirk. So step aside. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was harsh. Oh, just let's teach this tin can a, a lesson. Okay, yeah, and I think you can see why these pirates are such a threat. Yeah. <clears throat> I started wondering if I'm getting sick due to the um, weather changing. Yep. Huh? Where'd you go? Yeah, where'd you go to? Fine, I'll just smoke you out. Uh. Um. Uh, quite literally smoke us out. Okay, uh. Uh oh. I'll have to drop you for a bit. And just try and get the hell out of here. Oh, that hurts fast. Okay. We're going to need more health for that, but I'm guessing it'll reset us. Oh, oh reset us over here for some way. reason. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can't actually damage the thing because Twig's attacks don't deal damage and they can't web it up as well. <clears throat> okay, can't skip this since it doesn't really count as a cutscene apparently. Can we use this? Oh well, let's, look. let's just get the hell out. Why do I have a smoke, a toxic gas cannon right here? Okay. Wait, that, I thought I saw an opening there. Or what? No, there. Okay. Okay. That turns it off. Okay. I think he should be able to do something about that. Okay. What now then? The gas has stopped. I'm guessing there's another way out here then. Another door mechanism maybe. Here. No. Oh, okay, there's more behind it. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alphonse, you can come out, Brent. No. That door is certainly on lockdown. It's the red lights and everything. It's this way. Oh. The relics have been secured. We're prepared for takeoff. Or we're prepped for takeoff. Good. Follow the course towards the remaining settlements. And the owl boy? He comes and goes as he pleases. Regardless, he serves no purpose now. I will return to my quarters. Do not fail me. As always, Captain. The captain doesn't consider him a threat. Good. I'll take care of your treachery soon enough. Alphonse. Okay. He's up to no good. Oop. Probably best not to get spotted because, well, there's another poison gas can. can cannon. They almost said canister there. Uh, what do you say? Poison can. This is. Um, 
got Dap and Bolt, they also go full ham after us. Okay, yeah, you really just do not want to get spotted, and those things speed up as well. <laughs> okay. Oh, bloody heck. Okay, let's stay above it. Oh, come on. Got so much for stealth. Uh, what's this doing? What's this going? Okay, that opens that up, but that's not going to help much with all the toxic gas. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, we really need to stay hidden. Yep, or not. Okay. If <laughs> we can just hit the next checkpoint, it also works. <laughs> God. They deactivate the gas anyways. Oh. Okay, at least we have more health. And hopefully we can get somewhere that's... Or... Can we web up the vents? No, we can't. Okay. Then at least let's rush past so we can get another checkpoint. There we go. Okay, now without, with less toxic gas this time. Uh. Okay, I think it glitched. Oh, we, okay, we were fast enough there. Get past him. We need to figure out how to open that damn thing. Probably. Yeah, everything is glitched. Oh, that gets their attention. Nope, not that. Okay, that was fast enough. So you two go have a little chat. Uh, okay, they're not going... Okay, they're just going in their circles. Uh, okay, that's a switch to turn off the gas, but... Okay, does this... Yep, that leads into there. And... Ah, I see. Okay. And we, we rush back. Alright, about 11 minutes. Yep, there we go. Still gas, getting gas here though. Okay. Button, there we go. Okay, so we just need to find another button each time we do set off the gas. Or, yeah, there we go. Okay. Come on. Okay, that did not help at all, because now the gas is back. Okay, I guess we have to sneak after that thing, and then hit it into the door to blow it up. Hmm. Okay. Yep. And that was the wrong button. That was the roll, not the attack. Or the spin. Oh, oh no, all hell. 
Okay, at least we're close. Now just imagine if this game had uh, <laughs> it more like Ape's Odyssey. Now that would have been just bad. He there we go. Ape's Odyssey. Yeah, yeah Ape's, Ape's Odyssey. A lot of uh, words getting a bit uh, twisted up nowadays. Yeah, okay, why do some of these... Okay... Why do some of them set off the alarm but others don't? Just a bit strange. Okay, but now the door is closed again. Okay... Let's sneak after this thing. What's that mark on their face, quote unquote, supposed to be? An anchor. Sort of... oh, yeah, it looks a bit like that, but also a bit like an Omega symbol. But yeah, it could also be a bit of a just skull face, if a bit simplified. A mech skull? Oh, okay. We we need both. Okay, but... Yep, that worked. <laughs> bit painful, but it worked. Oh, come on! Do we really have to do this entire section without getting spotted? Because they don't respawn. Yeah, we... Okay, that is a bit bold that we need to do the entire part without getting spotted. Yeah. Okay, we've got enough time for a few more attempts. At oh, least they can't set up the alarm anymore after we've given them the first tap like that. So we should probably find a better way of... Really? We... Uh... Now, this, this is a bullshit part. There's no other way for it to be described. This... They really should not have... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, the push is a unnecessary difficulty uh, addition. And they're just not going to respawn until we hit the button again, even though there's a respawn vent right there for them. Okay, a at least they could have had it that you must just need to reset to the last door, not to the very first one. Like, we've blown it up. Like, it shouldn't need... It sh there shouldn't be a door to close up again. Ugh. And especially if they can spot you as you're transitioning between... <clears throat> as you're in transitioning between rooms. And there's also the fact that if you miss with all of this, you have to go back because they don't respawn. And whoever designed this part, you just never again. Shame. There we go. And lost again. Yeah, th this this is a terribly designed bit. Yeah. Uh, this is not a bit about patience. This is a bit about trial and error and luck. What? 
<sighs> we can't even skip these little bits. We just have to watch them over and over. Like, can we maybe grab them after we've knocked them out of their circuits? No. <sighs> yeah. Like, so far the game has been great. Amazing even, but this... This is just a point where you get a brick dropped on your foot. Through the foot, the booth is as horribly to have a brick inside of. Yeah, on of. Uh, on of, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm butchering my grammar now. Okay, at least the door got opened this time. Oh, oh come on! Nothing was visible there, nothing. Unless they... Oh, don't tell me they can see post boxes. Yeah, they didn't before. And we were behind the box, I'm pretty sure. We have to get real close to these things, so the, the chance of them damaging us before they even explode, or be, with the chance of them blowing up without even damaging the door is real high. Wait. It said grab there. Could I, can you actually grab them for like a moment after they've got taken a hit? Maybe? Okay, at least we have a backup here with this one. Add a backup. Yeah, again, this is just absolutely horribly designed like this, that you need to go back all the way to the start. Ugh. And then that thing closes again. Just yeah, they, leave they should not open. Re they, they should not put back the doors after each of these. Or... Ugh. This button, all it should do is respawn the bombs. It should leave the doors alone, because if you've managed to get past one of the doors, you've already had enough trouble getting past it in the first place, and not needing to do it again. Seriously, what is with the grab bits? Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to put in a time mar mark to just get past this to the successful run, because this is just plain ass stupid. This... Um, may have just had an idea. Can our spy friend tie them up? Wait. Okay, yeah, I should have thought about that. Okay, that is on my end, but still, just the fact that this all resets, that remains terribly designed. Let's uh, see if tying them up works. There we go. Okay, that is how we do it. Okay, will they eventually break free from that? I'm guessing they will because of the one struggling. Yep. Yoink. There. Okay, I think we almost forgot uh, his mechanics. We, we were unsure if the red bean can could work on this uh, or not, but it kind of makes sense yeah. and why yeah. otherwise have enemies with that. Okay, now that we know what to do, let's give it one run more. Uh, 
I think both also tie our grammars are collapsing. Yep. Oh, come on! <sighs> okay, let... We'll get through this part to the next checkpoint. Then we'll call it and go look for someone to raid. There. Yoink. Yeah, that, that is so much easier. Yoink. Is there. Yeah. Is that all, or is there more? Okay, why is he popping off out every time there? Yes, yeah, something. Can we whip him too? Yeah, we couldn't web the active one, so I doubt we can web up the other one. And that I think was a checkpoint. So let's just double check. Yep, okay. Okay. Uh, nope. We're, uh, return to title screen. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'll say that I'll admit that last bit was mostly on myself for not thinking of using Twig's ability. But yeah. Okay. I know I just randomly remembered his ability. It made me curious just if you could wear them up then throw them. But that sounded like a mechanic that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Okay, let me put OBS back on the other monitor. Why does it get screwing again? It's, there's nothing overlaying it. It shouldn't be. Okay. There we go. And if I just... Okay, I just, I just do not get what's... What, uh conflict obs and discord have sometimes but oh well let's go look for someone to raid and let's see just refresh just in case though i shouldn't forget to change the screen share uh, there go live okay let's see we have lil tree who is playing rafts then we have armchair general who is playing rainbow six siege Sensei Tadpole is streaming Assassin's Creed 2. The Sleepy Foxy is streaming Spiritfarer. I can't say I've heard of that. I may have. Yes, I have. I have seen a little bit of this. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Corridust with Remnant Records. Okay. Some sort of horror game or phasmophobia like. They're playing it with others. Okay. And it seems they got a new model. A free new okay. one. Uh now that's I think that's still 2D, just uh, actually uh, 2D but a bit more 3D work or 3D leaning on. Anyways. Uh Nico Sufrado is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Lazarus is playing Near Automata. Okay. Uh, Halloween is playing Blasphemous 2, or Blasphemous, Blasphemous, yeah, Blasphemous, I think it is, Blasphemous, Bl whatever. Blasphemous, or something. And Touch Scaly Tail is playing Hollow Cure, Save the Fans. Okay. Um, any you suggest, or shall I pick? I am tempted with Lid Tree, so it's been a while. Yeah. Okay, copy the name. Head to our place. Okay, slash raid and paste. Okay, 
Uh, let's see. Tomorrow we will have another showcase, I believe. Since last week we e went to double. That is correct. Tomorrow is showcase. The next okay. week it's uh, one of the other side quests again. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking maybe with some side quests, or at least one side quest, we go with games that are longer. Or at least come out on uh, how to beat, you know, how long to beat as longer and such. Otherwise, we'll be constantly jumping between games. Uh, yep, yeah, just constantly. Like some of the games that we have prepped for side quests are said to be like only two hours long or so. So just have. It would be interesting to have a different game each time, but I think we also just get kind of tired of just. It constantly being different and me constantly having to find new games to be playing as a side quest. So I'm thinking we could go with one long side quest and then shorter side quest beside that. Or we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. But I don't many of them are two hours long. Yeah. But I was kind of surprised if one of them were two hours long only. Like that, <clears throat> that's a rarity. Yeah, we, we can't take how long to beat as exact times for things to go, since we'll probably bait things, go, we'll probably go slower with things than other people normally would, since, well, chatting, joking, just trying out dumb stuff and such. But still, we'll take it as a general see a general feel of how long or how many times it, it might take to stream a game to get through it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, uh... Tomorrow, Showcase Sunday, and then in the evening, more Owlboy. And yeah, so for now, though, thank you all again. Thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Fufi, for watching. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And yeah, with that, let's start the raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for zombies, eagles.